Thank you for joining the Advancing Excellence podcast. In this episode, we're diving deep into the art and science of AI prompting. We'll uncover the five essential pillars of effective prompting, explore real-world success stories, and discover why treating AI like a talented team member rather than a magic button makes all the difference. Join me as we begin the podcast. Welcome to the Advancing Excellence podcast, where we explore innovative strategies and tools to help businesses thrive in today's dynamic marketplace. I'm your host, Janice Kleins, Marketing Manager for AOE, and today we're diving into one of the most game-changing technologies of our time, artificial intelligence, and more specifically, how to get the most out of AI through effective prompting. Joining me is Kristen Dispenza, Senior Account Manager at AUE, who has been working hands-on with clients to implement AI solutions that deliver real results. Kristen, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Janice. I'm looking forward to sharing some insights about what we've been seeing in the field. So before we jump in, tell our listeners a bit about your role at AUE and how you've been working with AI in your client relationships. Well, as a senior account manager, I work directly with our clients to understand their content challenges and help them identify solutions. Over the past year, AI has become a central part of those conversations. So I've seen firsthand how the right approach to AI can transform a client's content operations, but I have also seen how the wrong approach can lead to frustration and missed opportunities. That's exactly what I want to explore today. So let's start with the foundation. Why does prompting matter so much when it comes to AI? Well, you know, one of the biggest misconceptions I encounter is that AI is just a magic button you press and get perfect results. But working with AI is actually a lot like working with maybe a talented intern or new team member, you need to give clear instructions, you need to provide context, and sometimes you need to even give feedback to improve the output. That's such a great analogy. Can you walk us through what happens when clients first start using AI without understanding this principle? Absolutely. Um, I had a client last month who came to us frustrated because their AI-generated content felt generic and off-brand. And when I looked at their prompts, they were essentially saying, write a blog post about our services. That's like telling that in turn, do some marketing stuff. You're going to get something, but it won't be what you actually need. So what changed when you helped them refine their approach? We restructured their prompts to include specific objectives and target audience details. Uh, We gave some brand voice examples and context about how the content would be used. And then suddenly they were getting content that felt authentically theirs and actually served their business goals. That's great. So let's break this down further. What are the key components that every effective AI prompt should include? Great question. I like to think of it as the five pillars of effective prompting. So first you need crystal clear objectives which is what exactly do you want this content to achieve? And second, define your audience in detail. Third, you need to specify the tone and brand voice. And then fourth, provide relevant context and examples. And fifth, be explicit about the deliverables. That's the format, the length, the key points to cover. Okay, so that fourth pillar, context and examples, It seems particularly important. Can you give us a specific example of how that works in practice? Sure. Um, I worked with a tech company that wanted LinkedIn posts that matched their CEO's personal style. And instead of just describing the tone, we actually fed the AI program several of the CEO's existing LinkedIn posts and said, match this voice and style. And the results were so on brand that people thought the CEO had written them himself. That's incredible. What other types of examples or context do you recommend clients provide? Uh, Previous campaigns are gold mines of context, press releases, successful email campaigns, even outside content that resonates with your audience. Um, The key is showing the AI what success looks like for your specific situation, rather than hoping it guesses correctly. So you mentioned something interesting in our prep, the idea of building a prompt library. Can you explain what that means and why it's so valuable? Yeah, think of it as creating templates for success. Once you've crafted an effective prompt that delivers great results, then you save it. 
and for similar projects, you can copy and paste that prompt and make minor modifications rather than starting from scratch every time. That sounds like such a huge time saver. What are some examples of prompts that clients should definitely save? Definitely save prompts for your regular content types like blog posts, social media updates, email campaigns, press releases, but also save prompts for specific scenarios like crisis communications or product launches. I have clients who have cut their content creation time in half just by having these templates ready to go. Are there any common mistakes you see when people are building these libraries? The biggest mistake is being too generic. Um, a prompt that says write a professional blog post isn't going to serve you very well. But one that says write an 800 word blog post for marketing professionals using a conversational yet authoritative tone focused on practical implementation tips with in including three specific examples, maybe and a clear call to action, something like that's reusable gold. This brings up an important point about understanding what AI can and can't do. How do you help clients set realistic expectations? That is crucial. Um, AI excels at pattern recognition and language processing and at generating content based on clear instructions, but it needs human guidance for strategy and brand nuance and understanding complex business context. I always tell clients, AI is your content creation accelerator, not your content strategist. So share with our audience an example of where you've seen clients try to push AI beyond its current capabilities. I had a client who wanted to automatically generate entire marketing campaigns, strategy, messaging, channel selection, timing, everything based on just their industry and target revenue. That's asking AI to make strategic business decisions. It simply cannot make without deep company knowledge and market insight. So how do you redirect that situation? We broke it down into what AI could do well. Once they developed the strategy and key messaging, AI could help generate variations of different channels, create A-B testing versions, and scale the content production. And then the results were fantastic because we were using AI for what it does best. So let's switch gears a little bit and talk about the practical side. What should businesses consider when they're ready to start implementing AI for content creation? Security. Security is absolutely the first consideration. At AOE, we only work with AI platforms that offer enterprise-grade data protection. You need to ensure that your proprietary content and client information never becomes part of a public AI training data set. That's such an important point that often gets overlooked. What other practical considerations should be at the top of everyone's mind? Well, training is huge. You can have the most secure and powerful AI tools in the world, but if your team doesn't know how to write effective prompts, you won't see the value. Uh, we typically recommend starting with a pilot program, choose one content type, train a small team, perfect the process, then scale from there. So what does success look like in those pilot programs? We usually see a 40 to 60% reduction in content creation time while maintaining or even improving quality. But more importantly, we see teams shifting from spending time on routine writing tasks to focusing on strategy and creativity and relationship building. So Kristen, if our listeners could take away just one thing and implement it this week, what would your advice be? To start documenting your content requirements. Before you even touch AI, write down exactly what makes your best content work, such as what's the tone, who's the audience, what examples represent your brand perfectly. And then once you have the foundation, you're ready to translate it into effective AI prompts. That's actionable advice our listeners can implement immediately. For those who want to go deeper, how can AOE help organizations navigate both the opportunities and potential pitfalls of AI implementation? We offer comprehensive AI strategy consulting from security assessment and platform selection to prompt optimization and team training. We've helped um, a lot, dozens of organizations implement AI safely and effectively, and we'd love to help others do the same. 
Kristen, thank you so much for sharing your expertise and real world insights with our listeners today. This conversation really highlights how AI isn't just about the technology, it's about the human skill of knowing how to communicate effectively with that technology. Exactly, Janice. Thanks to you too for having me on the show. And for our listeners who want to learn more about AOE's AI services or connect with Kristen, visit our website at aoeteam.com. And if this episode was helpful, please subscribe to Advancing Excellence podcast and share it with your colleagues who are navigating their own AI journey. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time on Advancing Excellence. Thank you for listening to today's episode of the Advancing Excellence podcast. If you have any comments or questions, please get in touch with us at info at aoeteam.com. Don't forget to follow AOE on LinkedIn at Advancing Organizational Excellence, and be sure to subscribe to this podcast so you never miss an episode. Thank you.